Hey everybody, more big news coming out from Keepa. Some new Keepa updates. I know I just had a video come out a few days ago telling you about the new Keepa updates. Well, guess what? There's even more. So I put together another video for you. What I'm gonna do is go to my desktop computer. I'm gonna do a screen share. You're gonna be able to see my screen and I'll walk you through the latest Keepa updates. We're gonna be talking about updates like a new sales rank only chart. Um, we're gonna be talking about sub sales rank charts. We're gonna talk about more information about uh, understanding the buy box and so much more in this video. Let's get right to it. Let me show you the newest Keepa updates right now. All right, here we are on the Keepa website and I'm on the news page that is announcing the newest features. Let's see what those look like. So Keepa has just added a sales rank chart that is solely dedicated to sales rank. Keepa continues to use sales rank in the overall Keepa chart that you look at, but it is also giving you a sales rank chart. And why is it doing that? Well, because some items on Amazon, Amazon is no longer giving out the sales rank for the main root category of that particular item, but they're giving out only sales rank numbers for the subcategories. Now, again, some people see this as temporary. Amazon will go back to giving the main category numbers pretty soon. Um, but Keepa is responding very quickly to be able to see what is possible out there. But Keepa is responding with giving you the information in a way that you can see it and understand it. So let's look at this. Um, so we're looking at the Keepa graph and we're seeing the main Amazon root category is in the green shaded area. But then you see all these other lines up here too that just started to show. So we're gonna zoom in to that period and we're going to see what's going on. So as you hover over, you can see that the main root category is the toys and games category. But you can also see that there's a subcategory that is the action and toy figure play sets. So uh, right now, this item has the main root category continuing to show, but is also showing the sub sales rank category. And uh, and that's good for you to see and understand. Uh, you can also come down here and see where in the percentage of all the items on Amazon in that category, this item's sales rank lands. So this item lands in the top 1% of the toys and games category, but it's also showing you it's in the top 1% of the subcategory toys, uh, action and toy figure play set. Um, they'll even show you where in regards to the category tree this item is. So this is a second tier a subcategory right underneath the main tier, the main root category of toys and games. Uh, let's see what this looks like on another listing. So we have this uh, humidifier here and uh, we can see, I'm gonna just zoom into this area right here. So the main sales rank number was recorded, but then Amazon stopped giving out the main sales rank number and started giving a subcategory number. And so that stopped, but this has continued. And you can see over time how it has changed. And you can see that the main sales rank category is home and kitchen, but the subcategory is humidifiers, which is only one category deep in the category tree. So Again, some, some items are continuing to show both, some will just show one, but this is to kind of give you a good idea of what's going on right now while this number not being tracked right now because Amazon's not giving it out. And if Amazon starts to give it out again, which it does sometimes, Amazon will stop giving out certain information and then go back and give it out again, it will pick right back up again, and you can see that. In my last video, I showed you that there were little lines up at the top of the screen. If you hovered over sales rank, it would give you lines at the top of the screen showing you the changes. Well, that, that was a new change before this sales rank chart that included subcategories. Um, and so now that there, there's, there's this chart, there's no need for that little line up there. And that was in my last video on these changes. All right, let's take a look at one last item for dealing with uh, tracking sales rank and sub sales rank. Uh, in just a minute, I will talk to you about some new buy box updates, but let's finish off this sales rank and sub sales rank. So from earlier in the video, uh, another 10 days have passed since when I recorded the uh, video for, uh, from just a few seconds ago. And so I've got more time has passed and, and we've seen you know, more information has come in. So when I'm looking at the sales rank chart, let me just zoom in to this section right here. Um, and I can see, again, the shaded area is the main overall toys and games category. The number up here that's not shaded is the subcategory of toy vehicles. So you can still see here, sales ranks going up and down, and every time there is a sale, the sales rank will improve. 
And so you can kind of follow along and see how that has reacted over time and is continuing to do so. So some good information to have. Um, now, if you are just wanting to completely get rid of this sales rank uh, box right here, if you, you can click on this little link here, the sub ranks, and if you click on that, it disappears. And if you click on it again, it reappears so that you can uh, see exactly what you want to see and how you want to see it. All right, let's talk about some buy box updates. And another thing for you to be sure to know and understand when it comes to uh, the latest Keepa update, and this is not in regards to sales rank, but it's in regards to the buy box. So I'm going to just get rid of sales rank and we're just going to look at the buy box price right now. Um, so in my last video, I showed you that Amazon has stopped doing these pink diamonds to show you who won the buy box and is now doing a solid pink line. So you're always going to know what the buy box was at any particular time. And if the buy box is ever suppressed, there'll be a little space, you know, when it's suppressed and no line. But one of the features that a lot of people liked was that if you clicked on the box on the little diamond here, it would open up a little information box and tell you who the particular seller was at that time, and you can read it right there. Now I blurred it out because um, I don't like to put people's store names in, in my videos if I, can, if I can help it. But you can see that this was the, the seller before. But how can you do that right now? So you, I try to click on these lines. It's not showing me. Well, I reached out to my friends at Keepa and they told me, well, what you need to do is click at the beginning of the line when the buy box changed. And if you click on it, then it will show you that information that you're looking for. And again, if you, you know, again, go back to when the buy box changed and it will give you that updated information. So another little helpful tip to help you understand the latest Keepa changes. And I expect to keep it to continue to change. And as it does, we'll continue to come out with some videos to help you with that transition. All right, so there you have it. Those are the latest Keepa updates. Uh, as I've said before in the past, as Amazon continues to change, Keepa will continue to change. And as Kiba continues to change, we'll come out with new videos breaking down how to best understand those changes. If you're brand new to Kiba and you're like, what is this whole Kiba thing? It's time to sign up for Kiba and learn about it. You can see a free training video on how to understand a Kiba graph, fulltimefba.com forward slash read Kiba. If you are ready to sign up for Kiba, which you need to see sales rank charts and buy box information and a whole lot more, fulltimefba.com forward slash Kiba is where to go to get that information. And as always, we have the definitive course on how to best understand Keepa, everything that you need to know to make smarter sourcing decisions, smarter pricing decisions, and will help your Amazon business grow because you'll be sourcing stuff that sells better and at higher prices. The Keepa course, fulltimefba.com slash Keepa course to find out more about that. Well, that's it for today. Thanks again for joining me. I'll see you next time here on the Full Time FBA YouTube channel. Uh, be sure you go to fulltimefba.com and subscribe to our newsletter so you don't miss out on any of our latest upcoming tips, tricks, coupon codes, freebies, things that will help you turn part-time hours into a full-time income selling on Amazon. Have a great day, everybody. God bless. Bye.